Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5, Z Flip 5, and the Watch 6 Classic. Now you can pick these up online, I'll throw the links up in the description. Let's get right into it. First things first, let me give a big shout out to Samsung for inviting me to Korea for the uh, unpacked event. I had to respectfully decline because 18 hour flights ain't my thing. But Samsung nights. Hear me and rejoice. Okay, if you're a Samsung Knight, hit me with the secret Samsung Knights handshake. All right, if you don't know how to do it, just make some shit up. This is our time of the year, all right? Apple Mafia, I need y'all to stand down and stand by. Now, last year's unpacked event, I had all of the products and I asked my subscribers, do y'all wanna see a separate unboxing for each product or should I put them all in one video? And the majority of people said, do the hands-on, all-in-one video, and give us thorough reviews of each product later. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now with these products, I don't think I really need to go through the specs. I'll leave a link for them if y'all wanna check them out. This is a hands-on video, so let's get hands-on. We're gonna start off with the big boy, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. Now this one is gonna start off at 1,800 bucks. <clears throat> Good Lord, that's a lot of money. But this is a lot of phone. Okay, pound for pound, the best foldable device on the market. Now, as far as the presentation, look, y'all know when I do my hands-on unboxings, we're not gonna roast, okay? We're gonna save that for the full review, but I think y'all know what I'm getting ready to say. No charge in the box, I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, so let's see, inside you do get, okay, I got the SIM card. This is gonna be SIM ejection tool in there, okay? And your usual books and shit and the charging cable, okay? <laughs> I just thought of a funny joke. I'm not gonna say it, or should I just say it? <laughs> I, you know, no charge in the box. I'm expecting to find a little condom in here with a note that says, go home and fuck yourself. All right, no charge in the box. It is what it is. All right, shout out to Samsung. No, y'all know it's all love. It's all love. Okay, Z Fold 5. Now, as you can see, I've been using this all day long, so everything is set up and ready to go. Now, if you really wanna know the specs, matter of fact, well, why talk about the specs? Just go ahead and read them, because I got too many products right here, I don't wanna waste time. Okay, first, we gotta talk about the competition, okay? We gotta talk about the competition first. This is the big boy right here, the Vivo X Fold 2 versus the uh, 5. Now, we're just gonna call this the 5. I'm not gonna keep saying Z Fold 5. This is the 5, okay? And of course, we got the Pixel Fold, Okay, let's put them side by side. As you can see, <laughs> you see about the, the progression of size. The Pixel Fold. Honestly, <laughs> I love this phone. I love it. I do love it. We'll do some more comparisons in a minute. Here's the five and the four. Very similar. Now, I know somebody's gonna ask me, okay, um, <laughs> is this a real upgrade? I'm gonna say, look, you don't have to upgrade your phone every year. Viper, okay, I just seen your tweet a few minutes ago. He, he said, look, uh, phone companies should stop coming out with phones every year. You gotta look at it like this. You think Mercedes-Benz is gonna come out with a new car every three years just because you bought one? You gotta remember, just because you bought a new phone last year, there's somebody who hasn't bought a new phone in three years. So they gotta keep coming out with new phones every year. You don't gotta buy them, okay? And don't expect to see major upgrades every year. Remember those two words I used? Upgrade and update. This is more like an update, okay? Not a huge upgrade, it's more like an update. Visually, they pretty much look exactly the same except for the flash, okay? So this way, and, and, and that's a smart move because we need to know who's the real peasants, all right? So if you see the flash on the bottom, this is the peasant, okay? Now, if you see the flash on the top, this is one of the generals of the Samsung Mafia. Now look, I'm just kidding. At the end of the day, these are two dope phones. Let's see now. Here's one of the differences. Look at the gap. Okay, this one has major gapage. This one has reverse gap. Okay, negative gap. And just for comparison, the Pixel, negative gap. Vivo, negative gap. So there should be no more gaps on the market. Now let's take a quick overview of this phone. As you can see, always on display. Okay, looking beautiful. Now, with the always on display, you got time, date, battery percentage, notifications. 
press one button. Now, one thing I love about the Samsung ecosystem, you're gonna get these live wallpapers, okay, on your lock screen, live animated, always on displays, Google, okay, this is what we want. Unfold it, let's check the crease. All right, fingerprint sensor on the side. Matter of fact, let's just look around real quick. You got volume up and down, fingerprint sensor in your power button, triple camera setup, okay? You have an under display camera on your main screen, punch hole camera on your outer display, dual speakers, USB type C charging slot. Now the fingerprint sensor works flawlessly. Now I gotta go to the settings and set mines for tap, but right now I got it where you gotta press the button and tap it. If you want to, you can have it where you just rest your finger on it and it'll pop open like that. Set it up either way. But I like to have mines where I get to take a look at this beautiful animated uh, live wallpaper, why not? Okay, now one of the things that I love about the Samsung Folds, you can have a different setup on your outer display and a different setup on your inner display. Now. If y'all notice, Beautiful Widgets is DOA. Okay, so I'm using Transparent Weather now. That's my new app. Let me show it to you real quick. Now this is a paid app, but worth every penny. It's called Transparent Clock and Weather. So that's how I get the live wallpaper and I got my Beautiful Widgets looking weather. Of course you got all your quick panels. Okay, edge panels on deck. Everything looking good. Now look at this. Let's check the uh, crease. Okay, there's your crease. Now, of course, it's a foldable device. It's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a couple of years before we see an actual foldable device that has no crease. Okay, I don't think that technology is available just yet unless we get those rollout phones, but as of right now, being mass produced, you're gonna get some creasage. <laughs> Why do I add AGE to the end of everything? I don't know. All right, so here's how it looks. Let's do. Let's walk through some uh, basic features. Now, I'm not going to go through all of the settings. This is just a hands-on, so let's do some hands-on stuff. Let's go to YouTube. Okay, now say you want to watch a video. Now, I've been heavy into the Predator-verse lately. Let's turn this down. We can activate some flip mode. Okay, actually, uh, flip mode, flex mode. You got flex mode. Everything looking good. Now, when I do the full review, we'll tear, we'll, we'll tear it apart from top to bottom. Multi-windows. Exit out of that. Again, here's how your Facebook is going to look. Okay, now if we want to, we'll hit up Facebook from the outer display. Now, this is my... I'm doing this speaker tomorrow, actually, too. The, um, the, the clips. This is my biggest gripe with this phone is the narrow outer display. Let me show you something. Now, I'm going to pull up Facebook on all three of these devices. Okay, let's pull up Facebook. And we'll pull it up on the Pixel. <laughs> look at the difference. All right, now look at the difference in all three of these phones. Which one would you rather use Facebook on closed? This one right here, it, when, you, when you're holding it by itself like this, okay, it, it feels narrow, but it doesn't feel that bad. Until you put some other folds next to it, now it just looks, come on. I mean, it just looks too narrow. And for me, with the big fat fingers, I say I want to comment on something. Look how small my keyboard is, as opposed to if I want to comment on this post. Okay, I got a big, big giant keyboard. And with this right here, this is the supreme keyboard size for a foldable device. Now look, this is not gonna be a full comparison video, but again, you're getting ready to drop 1800 bucks. You need to see what's on the market. Now let's unfold them, okay? We'll do the same thing. All right, so here's our, here's Facebook. I don't wanna leave nobody on blast. Let's um, unfold this one, okay? <laughs> Let's try to find something, okay, find something like this. Look at this, this one. Now look at the size of this one. Look at the size of this. Now the Galaxy, I will say, 1,750 nits brightness. It's maximum nitage. Let's open up the uh, Pixel. Pixel with, this, with the, high, the high power button. Okay, see, now look at the difference. Look at the difference in the Facebooks. You see, now this is one thing I don't like about the Pixel. You know, you get, you're gonna get a lot of bars. <laughs> Not those kind of bars, the kind of, and look, you, you notice the Pixel, 
It's not completely flat. Okay? So look out three of these. Now, all three of these on the table, I think I would rather use this. Completely flat and just a big, giant display. But hey, it ain't about that. It's about the fold. Let me let me, um, let me reel it back in. All right, so here's how your Facebook is going to look. You got multi-apps you can do at the same time. Split-screen multitasking. Okay, you can swap them. You got pop-up windows. Let's do something in the pop-up. Now, let me see if I can find that tweet. Look, here it is right here. I think it's time you consider a biannual release schedule. All right, Viper, everybody ain't balling like you, okay? Everybody, you know what I'm saying? I know you out here balling, but some people, they, they, they not getting a new phone for the next three years. When it's they turn to buy a phone, they want a new phone, okay? I'm sorry I got to call you out there like that, Viper. All right, anyway, we could do the pop-up windows, okay? Open it a pop-up. Minimize that. Keep it pushing. This display is super bright and beautiful. Okay, I do love it. I do love it. I'm going to go into this review with an open mind, and I'm going to try to fall in love with the Galaxy Fold again. I'm going to try to fall in love with this outer display. Okay, let's see now. From the outer display, you can also do split-screen multitasking. Let's do Facebook, and then we'll do uh, split-screen on the bottom. So you could do split screen from the from the outer display. So it is fully functional. Let's take a look at the cameras real quick. Okay, camera. All right, now this one does have the 30 times scumbag zoom. Okay, so you're gonna be doing it big. Exit out of that. You got portrait mode, video. Let's see, video. Okay, 8K video. Hmm, that's big boy video. All right. Let's see, pro mode. Night shot, food, panorama, super slow motion, the full Galaxy camera suite. And you see, I got my little Twitter right here. You can just pop back in. Exit out. Okay, so full Galaxy camera suite. Let's do a quick point and shoot. Oh, it looks clear. Looks pretty clear. Let's see. Yeah, real nice. Okay, like, now look, this is just a quick hands-on. We just, um, you know, fooling around. But we'll do a full review and we'll test everything out fully and thoroughly now i want to let me check one thing let me grab my s pen from my galactus okay now let's see use only s pens designed for your galaxy fold all right so if you got the galactus <laughs> the galactus s pen it ain't gonna work all right so you're gonna need the galaxy fold s pen but neither one of these folds support the stylus so <laughs> that's it that is a plus let me go ahead and file this back to galactus Let's see, anything else we need to see here? Can we open this with one hand? Of course. <laughs> yeah, let me do that again. Oh, now look at this. If you want to, you can leave your phone open like this, okay? And you will have the same always on display. And you will have the dope wallpaper. Now, if you look at this, you see I got a different, this is a different live wallpaper from the outer display. The outer display is the airplane landing. Let me... Let me see how, like that. You see, this is the airplane landing. Pretty sick. Get it from the Galaxy Store. And on this one, we got the car. Come on, this phone right here. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. May, I, maybe I could fall in love with it again. Maybe I could. We'll see. All your Android 13 widgets. Everything fully customizable. I got all my apps running. Let's take it over to Instagram. Real quick, hold up. Let me just, hold on a second. I'm going to put nobody on blast. All right. Here's how your Instagram is going to look. Now, Instagram looks dope on this. Okay, here's Instagram. You know, this is the kind of important stuff people want to see. Here's how your Instagram is going to look. Clips is they, they tell, they, they're giving me a hint to hurry up and do the speaker. All right. So let's see, my man Slick Rick. Let's see how Instagram looks just for fun on the. Okay, now Instagram, I got logged out, of course. I don't know, you know, why not? Let me see if I can log back in real quick. Okay, here's Instagram on the Vivo. All right, I'm in shop. Okay, just as big. And let's see, take it over to the Pixel. <laughs> now, here's, here's Instagram on the Pixel. Okay, but you can rotate this. Again, a lot of bar activity. It is what it is. It is what it is. 
Let's see anything else we need to see here. Let's um, let's take a quick look. Okay, well, let me jump. All right, let's see. Let's exit out of that. <laughs> okay. Oh, matter of fact, let's check something. Let's see if we could do split screen. There it is. Split screen Instagram. Okay, I like how a lot of phones are now letting you uh split screen Instagram. Okay. Let me jump. Let's exit out of that. Let's see how TikTok looks. Okay, TikTok looks good. So I'm about to get crossed. Oh, man, he got crossed and banged on. Wow. I'm sure. All right, anyway. <laughs> this is so stupid, that video. Anyway, all right, so that's how your TikTok is going to look. Again, let's see anything we need to see here. All right, we already went to the edge panels. Basically, the Galaxy Z Fold 4 refreshed, a little bit re refreshed. All right, so hit me up in the comments and let me know if there's anything specific y'all want me to do. Let me say that one more <laughs> Hit me up in the comments and let me know if there's anything specific y'all want me to cover when I do this full review. But I think we're gonna tear it apart from top to bottom. I love the uh, frosted glass on the back. Minimum fingerprints. That's one of the things I like about the Pixel. This is a nice little combination right here. All right, you see I'm leaning toward the black phones this year, you know? It is what it is. Now, I got to set up my face unlock. I'll do all that stuff later. But as of right now, oh, matter of fact, yeah, let's see. One hand flip. Now, when you do your one hand flip, it's easy to do. All you got to do is prime it with your thumb and unfold it. I've done this a thousand times, okay? A thousand times. We got the new flex hinge. Let's check the diameters. Let's see. Okay, like that, like that. Okay, pretty much flex at any angle. Let's check one more thing with the flex, with the camera. Okay, this is kind of dope now. This is kind of dope. Shoot your videos, scroll through your photos. Real nice, real nice. All right, so this is the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Let's keep it moving. All right, so next up, we got the Galaxy Z Flip 5. Now this one is gonna start at 1,000 bucks. Same presentation, no charge in the box, but of course, you do get the SIM ejection tool and you're gonna get your USB Type-C charging cable. Okay, here we go. Z Flip 5. Now this one is actually a major upgrade. This is not an update. This is a major upgrade. All right, hold on. <laughs> My bad. This is a major upgrade. And let me show you why. Let's get a little wipe down. Here's why. The outer display. Let's gotta hit that power. Look at the outer display. Oh, okay, I put too many wrong attempts in. Look at the size of this outer display. Now, if you had the Z Flip 4 with this outer display, I know you at home right now punching in the air. Like <laughs> y'all remember Boys in the Hood? <laughs> after after Trey got pulled over by the cops and he went home and he was punching in the air like that. You're gonna be doing that right now if you got this phone because look at the size difference, okay? Look at this. This is basically a gimmick, okay? This is kind of gimmicky. I mean, it's functional, but come on. It's kind of gimmicky. Now look at the outer display, okay? You got a full-size outer display. Let's get some brightness on this. Look at this outer display. Now I got a dual clock setup, okay, for New York and Vegas. Only difference is, <laughs> this is the only difference. Here's the competition. Now with the competition, the Moto, you got full screen. And not only full screen, but you see now I'm gonna show you something. With the Moto, you see how I have actual apps? You can do that on this phone, okay? We're just gonna have to set up good. Like I haven't really set this one up completely. So as of right now, we're gonna do this unboxing stock. But by the time I do the full review, you'll be able to go to Instagram just like you can with this one, okay? But look at this outer display. This is beautiful. Okay, you got the widgets. Okay, I can make phone calls, text messages, alarms, stop clock. Stop, what I say, stop clock? Stopwatch, okay, could be stop clock. Steps, okay, NASDAQ, okay, you gotta keep up with your finances, health, Okay, and if you pinch them, all of your widgets. Now, these are fully customizable. Let's go ahead and open this up. Matter of fact, let's look around real quick. You got your volume up and down, fingerprint sensor built into the power button. You do have face unlock on this one. 
Let's see if it registers my face. Now I'm behind the camera, face doesn't match. Gotta use the fingerprint. You see the little unlock? Okay, once we flip it open, again, you're gonna get your main cameras, dual speakers, okay? Dual speakers, <laughs> just lost my train of thought right there. There's your SIM tray, okay? Now, one thing I will say, I actually, let me go ahead and exit out of this. I actually like the build quality better on the Galaxy than the Moto. The Moto is a little bit lighter, but it feels a little more flimsy. It has more of a flimsy feel, and I don't know if y'all can hear this. I'm gonna do it close to the mic. Y'all hear that crinkly sound? All of the Moto flips that I have always have that crinkly sound, and it just gives it more of a less premium feel. Now with the Galaxy, you got the hard, <laughs> pause you got the stainless uh, steel of aluminium i don't know what it is but it's metal all right it's not plastic and it gives it that feel now let's get the flagship flip there it is okay for your flipology and of course you got always on display then when you tap it there's your wallpaper now it's hard to see right here but you see it just the screen just cuts out around the camera but I like it. I thought that once I got these in real life, I you know, once I held them both in my hands, I thought for sure I was gonna like the Moto better because of the bigger outer display. But the Galaxy, the software is 10 times better. Okay, it just feels more premium. No gap. Okay, now let's check the gappage. You see, last year there was maximum gappage. Now we got the check where no more gaps. So this is gonna fit flush in your pocket and when you whip it out, it's gonna look sexy. It's gonna look sexy. Now, when you flip it open, if you want to, you can have always on display. All right, so say you like to leave your phone like this. Now I got the same always on display that I got on my Galaxy. You see the animated, time, date, notifications, battery percentage, and then if I hit the button, same, same juicy live wallpapers. Okay, fully customizable. Fingerprint sensor works flawlessly. Let's try to face unlock now. You see, now I'm behind the camera, so I gotta set up a separate, oh, no matter of fact, I'm wearing glasses too. It is what it is. Swipe over, there's your Google homepage. Okay, let's see how some of these apps look. Let's take it over to Instagram. Okay, now check this out. Spigen is already dropping a nice flip and fold case. Let's go ahead and like that. All right, so here's how your Instagram is gonna look. There's that basketball player. <laughs> okay, all the folds, okay, let me turn. All right, anyway. That's Instagram, TikTok, let's see. Yeah. I don't know. Let's check the gap on this. Let's go to Facebook. Okay, now, let's get something white in the middle. They did a really great job of hiding the crease. Did I say gap? I meant to say crease. This one has minimum creasage. A nice, quiet, <laughs> a nice, quiet display. Okay, instead of this, you got this noisy ass display. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay, let's see. And, um, of course, now, you got the same features. You got split-screen multitasking. You got your pop-up windows. Okay, so we'll do TikTok on the bottom. Facebook on the top. Okay. Everything works. You got your edge panels, of course. Classic Galaxy phone. Let's take it over the camera. Let's see. Now, this one, we're going to get 10 times zoom. Okay, for video, let's see. Okay, full HD, no 8K video on this. You got 60 frames per second. Okay, full HD, that's the max. I mean, I'm sorry, Um, 4K, 60 frames per second, and you got um 1080p full HD. Super steady. Okay, let's do, let's do a quick, let's see, more. Okay, basically all of the same camera setups. Let's do a quick photo, point and shoot. Now, of course, this ain't really a photo test. I just want to see how it looks. Okay. Little details right there. Uh, not bad, not bad. We're going to have fun with this one. But you're buying this for this outer display. Look at that. Now, oh, matter of fact, let's go. This is one thing I want to go to settings with this one. We'll go to cover display. I just seen that early. Where was we? Where was we? Okay, cover display. So you do got some different... Uh, cover displays already pre-installed. 
But if you want to, you can just add your own. Okay, you got the cover screen timeout. You can change your widgets. These are all the ones you have preloaded. But of course, I'm pretty sure with, when you get the uh, good lock. Okay, why is the flash on blinding me real quick? All right, let's see. Let's turn that off. No, no, no. Okay. Let's take a look at this outer display one more time. Let's get one last wipe down. Yeah, this is what it's all about. Now this is a functional phone, okay? This one was a gimmick. This is a functional phone, and I think I'm going to enjoy rocking this one. And like I said, I mean, just just off the rip, let's say again, unlock this one, just off the rip, as soon as I get my actual apps, you see this one, I'm running Facebook right on the outer display. Once I get my actual apps on the outer display, I think this is going to be just as much fun. Okay, fingerprint. Okay, too many attempts. Let's see, calendars. Now, the phone is a little warm. Let's hope that's not a concern. Okay, yeah, there's all the widgets. Anyway, this is the Galaxy Z Flip 5. Let's, uh, let's see how it uh, is. Check the flex factor, okay. Hit the fingerprint sensor. Now, I, got, I might have to redo my fingerprint sensor. I don't like how that's going. Okay, there it is. Got your phone on the table, pick it up. Yeah, who this? All right, let me call you back. Later. This is kinda dope, all right, this is kinda dope. This is kinda dope. Let's try that with the fold. All right, so you got your fold on the table, somebody giving you a call, hold on a second. Uh, yeah, hold on a second, that's kinda dope. Yeah, yeah, hold up. Yeah, okay, I gotta get the hang of that. I gotta play with it. Again, make sure you go home, Samsung Knights, sit in the mirror, Practice flipping and answering your phone. All right, this is how I practice. I leave my phone on the table like this, and I practice doing stuff like this. So when I'm out at dinner, and I got to flex on somebody real quick, I ain't got to be struggling. All right, my phone ringing. Hold on a second. Hold, hold, hold on a second. I'm getting a phone call. Flip it. You know what I'm saying? Like, hello? All right, let me call you right back. Y'all seen this post on Instagram? Show somebody a quick post. Right, Y'all seen this? Yeah, this kind of lit. All right. Bang, there it is. You can do all this stuff with one hand. All right, so this is the Z Flip 5. As I can see, I'm having too much fun. Now, we got one more product. Let's just roll right into it. All right, no, let's just roll. Let's, let's keep it rolling. Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. Now, y'all remember when I did the Watch 5, I started the hashtag, bring back the rotating bezel. And kudos, I right, extra kudos to Samsung for listening to, this, to the consumers because we missed that rotating bezel. Now we got the rotating bezel back. So this one does come with usual books and shit. It should be um, a little charger in here. Let's see what kind of charger this is. Okay. <laughs> okay. You got the wireless charger. Uh, not wireless, magnetic. Wireless, when I say wireless, I mean no wires from the watch to the charger. But it is a wire that has to be plugged in. All right, for y'all fucking nerds that be trying to correct me all the time. All right, so this is the Watch 6 Classic. Now, I already got this one all set up. Let's get a little wipe down. Okay. Now, the best thing about this watch, that rotating bezel is back. Fellas. Now, I know a lot of people always, oh, I see you watching. We're in the Apple Watch Ultra. The Apple Watch Ultra is my favorite watch because they took away the rotating bezel. But now that it's back, you're going to see this a lot. Now, right now, I'm wearing the uh, Galaxy Watch 5 with the diamond bezel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I did a video on this one. This is actually Moissanite, okay? But, you know, you know, just call it a diamond bezel. It makes you feel better about yourself. Now, we got the 6. So, let's go through the basics on this one. You do have some different watch faces, okay? Now, of course, when I do the full review, we'll pull out the phone and we'll go through everything from top to bottom. You can get uh, different watch faces. You can add some right from the watch. So say I want to do this cute looking cat right here. Just add this right here. This is my, my watch face. Okay, that's your home button and your back button. You swipe down. You got all your quick toggles. Okay, and again, like I said, I'll do find my. This is the feature that I use the most. All right, so if you can't find your phone, use find my. Okay, let's exit out of that. Let's see any other uh, toggles we need to see here. Okay, now, of course, like I said, matter of fact, I don't want to turn this into a full review. Let's just go to the settings. 
Okay, so you got your different modes for sleep and you know work. Basically, um, how do you guys? What do your Apple guys call it? Um, I forgot what it's called, but I got mine's all right now. <laughs> do not disturb. I just got an alert. Hold on a second. Uh, you see, I ordered the um the case, S Pen case. Okay, so we got sound and vibrations. Now this is what separates the Galaxy Watch from the Apple Watches. You can actually change your notification sounds. I don't know why Apple. I don't know why they don't want to jump on the wagon though, but you see, I got different vibration patterns. And if I want, I got different ringtones. You ever been somewhere with a bunch of people with Apple watches on and somebody get a phone call, everybody looking around like it all sound the same. You got different tones for your phone and for your notification sounds. Okay, now let's go through. All right, so I'm not gonna let's see anything, any settings we need to see here. The display is mad bright. You do have always on displays also. Raise to awake. Let's see anything else we need to see. Samsung Health. Okay, advanced features. Okay, water lock. Customize your buttons. Okay, you can answer and end calls just by lifting up your wrist. I highly recommend leaving that off, okay? Let's see, accessibility, hearing and visually impaired, you know the routine. All right, so that's that. So from your home screen, you swipe over once, here's your notifications. Now this is an actual notification, but if you want to, instead of swiping over, you see, I got, I got so used to not having a rotating bezel, I've been swiping, now I can start rotating again. Okay, so you get all your notifications right there just by rotating. Okay, it's blazing hot in New York City right now. Now if you swipe the other way, I got my daily activity, Okay, got some exercise program set up, my steps. Okay, we got the sleep tracker, your body composition. I'm not even trying to do that on camera because I'm fat. You got the weather right here. You got a calendar, ECG. Okay, I, I'll be scared to do e, ECG. The phone gonna be like, bro, put the fork down. I'm gonna just get an alert on the phone instead of getting an actual number, it's gonna be like, bro, stop eating. All right, now you can play music. You see, I was watching a YouTube video. I could play it right from here. So if I open up my phone, if we go to YouTube, okay, you see I'm watching the video. From the video, I can pause it. I can skip to the next video. See what's going down in the predator verse. You see, I be, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm part of the TCAP community, but this also works with music. So say if I'm listening to music, let's just exit out of this. Okay, let's go to uh, YouTube music. So say I wanna rock some music, play my library, okay? You see, it comes up with the actual album art. That's pretty dope. I can raise or lower the volume. You know what I'm saying? I like this, I like this. Okay, skip to the next song. Okay. Play and pause. Or I can, I can also connect right to my headphones. All right, so we'll exit out of that. Hit the back button, keep it moving. Okay, now I got quick contacts. Okay, I can just call up Amaya, call up my girl, call up myself, <laughs> whatever. And if I want to, I can add more tiles. Again, this is not gonna be a full review. Like I said, we're just breezing through. Plenty of stuff. Let's see, device controls. I could just add that one. Smart things, why not add that too? control my refrigerator <laughs> That's it. I, I, I gotta send an alert to my refrigerator like yo daddy's on the way home <laughs> open up all right let's, let's keep it moving all right so that's so that's pretty much it for that when i do the full review we'll cover a bunch of different watch faces we'll test out all of the different stuff but this is actually the biggest watch face yet as a matter of fact let's go ahead and um watch face watch display let's go ahead and slap this one on the wrist so y'all can get that wrist profile shot you know the band has a, no, matter of fact, I want to see something real quick because it says it does have the new quick release band. Let's see how that works. Oh, okay, yeah, this is nice. You just press one button instead of having to deal with those little pins. You see like this little pin shit? I hate having to do that. That, that kind of turns you off from wanting to change your bands. That's one thing I like about Apple Watches. It's so easy to change the band. It kind of makes you want to keep changing them. Bam. All right, so here's how it looks on the wrist. Beautiful rotating bezel. We back in the game. Samsung Knights. Hold up. Let me do it one more time. 
That's the secret Samsung Knights handshake. Just go home, go like this. You know what I'm saying? Do some shit. We back in. All right, matter of fact, let, let's have a little fun. All right, let's have a little fun. Let's try, let's try one of these out. All right, so let's try body composition. Okay, now, do I have to set the... Uh, okay, hold on. Nah, okay, we'll skip that one because I got to set up too much stuff. But let's try something else. Let's try... Um, let's try ECG. Okay, come on, Samsung. Okay, let me set this up. All right, so as far as the ECG, we're not going to be able to test this out right now because every time I hit download, it takes me to this. It says it's not compatible with this phone. Now, if it ain't compatible with this phone, what phone is it compatible? I don't know. All right, so where do we leave off? ECG, okay, we checked the music already, the contacts, smart things. Now, I do have a battery widget, so it's got my phone and my watch, battery percentage. Okay, got maps. We'll do a live test outside. Blood oxygen. All right, let's try this one. Oh, okay, now this is one you're going to have to move. Okay, we'll do that one later. Yeah, all this elbow shit, we ain't got time for that. Let's see, um, we got heart rate. Okay, 97 now. That's a little high for me right now, but you know, I'm all worked up because I'm shooting a video. <laughs> I'm a little worked up right now, but it is what it is. Let's see, and now like, again, now, we, if we exit out of that. Okay, that's my last tile. So you can add as many tiles as you want. I believe up until, I ain't count, but there's a lot. All right, there's a lot of tabs. I got the weather too. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of different um, <laughs> tiles, not tabs, a lot of different tiles. But the rotating bezel, it just makes this watch a lot more user-friendly. Because if you notice, look at the display. If you gotta keep touching your display, you're gonna have those smudges over it. You see that? And that's what I hate. So let me go ahead and wipe that down. I hate having to touch my watch face. Now, with the rotating bezel and the buttons, okay, your watch face is always gonna look nice and clean. All right, so this is the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic, okay? Nice little, yeah, this band, it looks leather, but it kind of feels not leather, but it definitely looks durable. All right, now I'll check, I'll check the sleep timer when I do the full review. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap this video up. All right, so one last thing I wanted to mention, with the Galaxy Z Flip 5, you do have flex mode. So let's try that. So we're gonna open the camera. We can flex it like this. Okay, now if I want to, I can put it on me, or I can switch it back around record, take some videos, and you can also use the bottom as a touchpad. Now let's exit out of that. Let's take it over to YouTube. So say I'm watching a YouTube video. I can be just like this in the comments while I'm watching the video. And the hinge is adjustable to any angle. So I'll probably rock it like this, watch my videos, and chill up in the comments. All right, so let me give y'all my first impressions and my predictions. As far as the Z Fold 5, I think it's gonna be a top of the line foldable device. It's gonna be pound for pound, the best foldable device. Tomorrow I'm getting the S Pen. I'm going into it with a completely open mind and I'm gonna try to fall in love with it. But here's my prediction. I think I'm gonna have the same experience I had with the Z Fold 4 which is I love it, I just hate the outer display. That's my only gripe. And especially after using this phone, it's hard to go back to the narrow outer display. But for social media, I know for a fact I'm gonna like it better than the Pixel, okay, when it's unfolded. I know I'm gonna like the camera, I know I'm gonna like the multitasking, I'm definitely gonna like the S Pen, okay, we'll test the battery and everything else out. But my prediction is I'm gonna love it, but I'm just gonna like this one better. Now, as far as, is it an upgrade? I would say minimum upgrade from last year's version. Now, as far as the Z Flip 5, I think I'm gonna love this one, and as far as, is it an update or an upgrade 
This is a real upgrade. Now the outer display is actually functional. I can actually use it. You know what I'm saying? Look at my, my thumb covers this whole outer display. So my prediction is I'm gonna love this phone and I'm, I'm gonna like it better than this and I think the camera's gonna be better than this. But we'll find out. And as far as the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic, I'm gonna love it, okay? Is it an upgrade? 100% rotate and bezel back in the building. Now it's a wearable watch again for me without no smudges all over the display. And again, I just touched the service in this video. All of these products got a lot more features that I haven't even talked about yet, but I gotta save some stuff for the review, especially with the watch. There's a lot of things I do with my Galaxy Watch that I haven't showed y'all in this video, but I'm gonna show you doing the real review. Same thing with both of these phones. We didn't even talk about Samsung DeX. Matter of fact, let's see. Does this one even have Samsung DeX? Now, a lot of times, the uh, Flip doesn't have DeX. Yeah, this one doesn't have any DeX. Let's just, let's just make sure. Okay, let's just make sure. Yeah, no DeX on this one. Now, let's just double check. We got to see something. Let's go. Da -da -da, let's see. Uh, okay, matter of fact, let's... Um, Let's see. Uh, mm, mm. <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yeah. You know, I, I, it's only because I'm on the spot right now. You know, I, I normally know where this kind of stuff is at. Okay, let's see. Now, this one doesn't have Dex either. Oh, maybe because I spelled it wrong. Okay. That usually helps if you spell something right. Okay, this one has Samsung Dex. <laughs> There's no deck on this, but it does have Samsung decks. Okay, yeah. Now, let me just make sure. Did I spell it wrong on this? Because <laughs> I be doing dumb shit sometimes. Let's just make sure I spelled it right. Come on, bro. All right, hold up. I, I, I'm under pressure right now. When you make live YouTube videos, a lot of pressure. But you got to know how to flow with the... Yeah, maybe I spelled it wrong. Okay, yeah, no decks on this one. <laughs> I, I just check it. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. If y'all want to see anything specific with any one of these products, but when I do the uh, real review, I'm going to do on each product, okay? So we're not going to rush it. We're going to take our time, and we're going to do it right. Samsung Knights, enjoy the moment. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream games is on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat was a lap. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me both. It's your boy Flossie, man. Deuces. Spot one to be my. Everybody in the world uses technology. And if you're gonna buy some of that technology, you gotta understand certain things. Subscribe to Flossy Carter. He does reviews of all the latest technology. The iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck. The Beats by that doctor guy. And he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at. You know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.